Hello and welcome to Faith Media Show. I am your host, Danny Terry, and Faith Media Show is a uh, podcast and a live streaming show that features Christians who work in media and entertainment. And today we are joined by painter and graphic artist Jared O'Flaherty. Jared, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Danny. Thanks. And thank you for joining us. Um, so uh, currently you're you're in D.C., right? I am. Got to love, yep. love technology. It's uh, cer- certainly has been a brave new world with everything being uh, being connected remotely. Um, so it's uh, it's definitely have to to kind of relearn how to do different things. But it's definitely <laughs> adjustment on life. Certainly has been. That's so. for sure. Yeah, but yeah, it's cool to be able to uh, hang out with you virtually. And so um, as uh, so, please tell the viewers about your background. All right. Uh, I have been an artist for as long as I think I can remember. Um, didn't really, really start getting into it until I was in my teens. Uh, when I was 13, I, I kind of fell into the graffiti culture and that just consumed me. Um, and so since since then, I've really just been doing it all, slinging paint, playing with spray cans. You know, uh, as of lately, you know, uh, as in 2017, I started my own art company. It's called Acrylics. Uh, where we we predominantly uh, create acrylic pieces um, we use we use a variety of methods to create whether it's mixed media graphic art um, straight paint to canvas uh, done some mural work as well in the in, in the recent like in the last year or so um, commissioned through both the city of Norfolk and the city of Virginia Beach so I have murals that are up and can be on display if you go down to the oceanfront for instance off of uh, 24th Street, I have one down there, and then there's also the Little Theater of Virginia Beach. I did the entire uh, half of the building mural for them. So yeah, just I am an artist. It's who I am. It's wake up thinking, breathing. <laughs> that's that's who I am. That's great. So, what influenced you to want to become an artist? Uh, you know, I think it's just one of those things where I was innately interested. Um, the first time I can remember being, uh, you know, an artist, I, I guess, is I was five and I, I used to draw little boats. <laughs> so I remember being five and drawing a boat and being really proud of it and showing my mom and showing my dad. And, uh, I think that was really where it started. Um, so, I mean, as I got older, I, I was, you know, able to learn different you know, techniques and different styles from very different artists. Uh, Alphonse Mucha is, you know, a heavy influence in my work. Um, you know, he's the, God, the godfather of Art Nouveau, and he did a lot of like lithographic prints in the 1920s and 30s. And um, uh, Jackson Pollock is another influence, just because of you know the way that he, you know, he he redid modern art. Um, so I don't know. I, I just, you know, I, I think every decade in my life, I've discovered something new that I wasn't really interested in before. And it revitalizes myself and my, my art. And, um, and like I said, you know, graffiti, graffiti has always been a big piece of who I am. So uh, there's guys like Scene and Risk that are actually on Instagram. They engage with you all the time. These are like the godfathers of graffiti that, you know, were birthed out of the 80s. Um, and so, yeah, it's just constantly, you know, constantly encouraging and, and, and always finding new ways to get involved. And yeah, I guess I would, <laughs> I guess that's, that's, that's where my influences are, are uh, birthed from. So uh, when did you become a believer in Jesus? Uh, please tell everyone about your testimony. Uh, I think I've always had a belief in Christ. Um, you know, I, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, Faith has always been something that's really important to me. And it really kind of is the the rock that I lean on when things get rough. And it, it can be, you know, hard sometimes. But uh, I think I rededicated my life to Christ when I was 15 on my own. Um, I was at a church function and just they were just praise, praise and worshiping. And I just felt consumed by it and felt compelled to, you know, rededicate my life. Um, which is funny because it's also when I was getting into graffiti and I was going by a name Skept, which is, you know, short for skeptical. Um, and then when I 
rededicated my life to God and I decided that I was going to be a Christian, like full force Christian. I was just consuming as much as I could uh, in the Bible and reading. Like my grandfather was a was a you know preacher, so I was reading a lot of his old books and his old notes. And I was looking for a new name. I was like, All right, I'm going to change my name. I'm going to switch it up. And I came across the name Enoch. And Enoch is, you know, uh, he's an ancestor of Noah and he is the son of Jared. And I thought, that's like God talking to me right there. So since then, I've gone by Enoch when I do, you know, uh, graffiti. And that's what I did for a long time. And uh, then again, I, I actually got rebaptized as an adult uh, in 2016. Um, and so, yeah, I can't think of a time in my life where I wasn't a believer. So how has your faith played a role in the projects that you work on? Uh, you know, I think it depends on the mood I'm in. Um, one of the things that I do with my paintings is I actually name them before I paint them. Um, so I have a blank canvas and I just, you know, I, I'm just try to be in the moment with it. I try to, you know, vibe off my emotions and what I'm feeling that day. And once it's named, it actually influences everything. It influences the music I'll listen to. It influences the paints, you know, the colors that I'll use. Um, it literally consumes the entire environment and it really has a, a deep influence on it. Um, and so, you know, I've, I've made work where I was feeling, you know, like a typical artist, I was feeling melodramatic or I was being temperamental and, you know, I'm, I was, I, I remember one time I was reading, uh, I, uh, it was, um, I think it was revelations. I was just in revelations. I've always been drawn to that book. So I wrote, I read about it and I was just going through it. Not, not anything in particular, just kind of reading through it. And then I uh, created a painting called Black Sun. And so it kind of just goes hand in hand. Um, but it, it depends on the mood that I'm in, you know. Uh, there's a Christian rapper named NF. I don't know if you ever heard of him or not, but um, he does quite a bit of stuff. And I've listened to a lot of him while I paint. Uh, you know, there's a lot of pain behind what he's talking about and, you know, uh, a lot of struggle. And so within that, you always find your faith. Um, at least that's for me, that's, you know, when I'm in my moments of, of deep struggle, I, you know, that's where I rely on my faith the most. And so that's where some of my best paintings have come from. Yeah. And, uh, faith, faith really is, is one thing that, that can just, um, really help you to get, get through it no matter what you are going through. And, you know, you just call upon the name of Jesus and really nothing is impossible, you know, without mm -hmm. Christ in your life. And it just, I, I've been so amazed at, you know, what, uh, what could po potentially happen? You know, there's been so many Christians that have been touched by God and, and had so many miracles um, happen to their life. And it's just uh, wonderful to see that and see that as a testimony. And, mm -hmm. you know, that, you know, with, with God, all things are possible. There's, there's nothing that we can't do without, without him on our side. It's true. <laughs> so uh, as a Christian and an artist, how has your experience been uh, working in uh in art and media? Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people that are not, you know, interested in hearing about God or talking about God. And, um, there's a lot of the art community that doesn't even believe in God. Um, so it's, it's interesting waters to navigate, you know, um, you have to, I don't know if you always have to be on your, you know, on your guard or not, but, um, Cause you know, some people are just, you know, reckless and in, in the things that they say. And, um, for me personally, I haven't experienced a whole lot of negativity with it. Um, if anything, it's just an opportunity to talk to people. You know, I like talking to people in general. That's who I am. Uh, so if they like the piece that I've created and, you know, they want to know more about it, I tell them, you know, it's like, well, yeah, this is, this is the background from this piece. Usually, you know, like I said, it's, it's given a name before I paint it. Here's here's what I was thinking about when I made this painting. Here's what I was listening to. Here's what I was feeling. Um, and it's a great opportunity to share testimonies with people and just, you know, be a friendly face and, and give them one more reason to reconsider what they're doing. And, you know, if they haven't, you know, thought about, you know, giving the life to Christ and, you know, it's, it's one more notch towards them getting a chance to maybe do that. Um, so, but it, it's it depends. <laughs> some, some people are really welcoming and other people are really just like, you keep all that over there. 
Um, do you take the good with the bad? You know, um, I have done some missions work with my art. Uh, actually, I, in 2018, I went to Scotland and was able to do some missions work over there. And I used my art to get me there. Uh, me and my wife actually went together and we raised money uh, through our art. And um, it allowed us an opportunity to go over to Scotland for two weeks and minister to the homeless and to work with kids and do like a creative environment for them. And so we were using art to teach them about God and, and to just kind of, you know, enjoy each other in the moment. And it was a lot of fun. So where was, uh, where was this at that you were working with the homeless kids? In Scotland, Edinburgh. Scotland. Oh, that's, in Edinburgh. that's wonderful, yeah. Yep, yep. We were there for a little over two weeks during the Fringe. It's the largest art festival in the world. It's number one in the world. Uh, consumes the city for almost a month. And so we were out there with Destiny Church. And we were uh, every day, you know, working with the kids, hanging out with the kids, teaching them about the about the Bible. Because, I mean, we're talking like like VBS age. Really, you know, there were, some of them were as young as five. I think the oldest was maybe 12. Um, and then we would do that for most of the day. And then we'd go out in the streets and you know, we'd talk to people, pray for people. There's a large homeless population uh, out there. So uh, we were, you know, inside Edinburgh, there's a, a it's called Leith. It's L-E-I-T-H. And uh, we were just out there every day. And it was awesome. And, and then you get to experience the Fringe, too, which is just this incredible art, art community. It's just, it was amazing. So uh, have you had the opportunity to do something similar here in the United States? Yeah, yeah. I've done uh, shows all up and down the East Coast, you know. Um, not, a, not a whole lot of them are mission-based, um, but I've done a lot of the shows have actually been in Norfolk. Uh, we've done Chelsea West Fest. We've done Stockley Gardens, which is sponsored by Hope House Foundation, who, you know, they, their entire reason for being is to assist uh, mentally challenged individuals to live as fulfilling a life as possible um, so that they own property and they rent out property to these individuals and they have in-home caretakers and um, it's just it's such a servant's heart led organization you know they they live to serve others that aren't in as good a position as maybe you or I are um, intellectually you know just from a you know they're just disabled people and it's it's amazing to see what these people do um, so uh, I work a lot with Hope House and you know, we do the Stocky Gardens Festival twice a year. Um, so we're out there a lot, you know, once in May, once in October. Yeah. So we actually have a few uh, watching the uh, live stream with us. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We're talking with painter and graphic artist Jared O'Flaherty. And we're just talking about uh, his experience of working in various different types of art. And also he's uh, sharing his faith as well. And um, he's been actually telling us that there's, there's been a lot of uh, wonderful things he's been able to work with the community and uh, be able to uh, work with them and share his art, uh, help to teach art as well. And also he's been able to have the opportunity to share his faith as well. And if you have any questions for, for Jared, uh, please feel free to chime in on the comments. Uh, we are actually using StreamYard uh, to go live. Uh, so in order for for us to actually show the comments on the screen, what you'll first need to do is just go to the link that we shared on our on our live stream. Uh, it's StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. So what you'll first have to do is you'll need to grant permission for StreamYard to show your comments. But uh, once once you do that, we'll be able to actually put your comments on the screen. But if you have any comments for Jared, please feel free to chime in. Um, and uh, and Jared, also, um, what types of uh, art and other projects have you worked on? Oh, man. Uh, well, for the last two and a half, three years almost, it's been almost predominantly uh, acrylic pour. So you take uh, acrylic paint and you mix it with a silicone base, a pouring medium. Uh, usually it's like Liquitex or Floetrol and uh, combine them together and then use that as a pour. You literally pour it and then use movement. Um, so I do that quite a bit. Um, that's, you know, the foundation of acrylics was based on that specifically. Um, and then I actually use my hands and actually like paint with my hands inside the painting. Um, I've also done a lot of mixed media work. Uh, you know, creating collages out of various materials. Actually, when we were in Scotland, 
um, they were handing out these amazing flyers for all the different shows that were available for people to see. And I mean, we're talking like these flyers are works of art themselves. So I, I think I brought home like maybe a thousand flyers, literally a thousand flyers. I filled up an entire suitcase full of them and brought them home. And I've cut them all up, some of them, and uh, turned them into pieces of work. You know, I have a, a few that I've, I've submitted to shows in the last year. Um, I do a lot of, um, I, I am doing some more graphic work as well more recently. You know, Acrylics has been pushing, you know, uh, certain certain things that we've been doing. Um, uh, like I, for instance, we have a we have a logo where it's 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 people taking their hands and they're you know they're creating the VA sign, um, and so that's been really popular and that's been turned into stickers and magnets and prints and holographic prints and um, so we do a lot of that now too. So, uh, and, and you've, we've actually, uh, known each other since the days of, uh, Tidewater community college, uh, mm -hmm. going through yeah. the, the visual arts center. And, um, yep. and you, you've always actually been into art ever since. And, uh, uh, what are, and I know there's like all sorts of different, um, art that you like, but, uh, what are your favorite types? Um, I love all of it, man. It's hard. Uh, I am drawn more to like contemporary modern art, you know, um, I'm a big fan of, like I mentioned, you know, Pablo, uh, Jackson Pollock is a big, is a big one for me. I love uh, Alphonse Mucha, who's like more of that Art Nouveau. So it's, it's very stylish. Um, I don't know, man. I like it all. There is, there isn't really much that I don't like. Uh, I am, t I tend to be drawn more to like more graphic and detailed stuff. So like there's a guy that I follow on Instagram. His name is Tristan Easton and uh, he's just doing the most amazing stuff right now. And he does nothing but spray can work, but his work is so just in your face and it's, it's like combined collage work and his technique is flawless. And like he'll do entire buildings in this and it's just, it's amazing. Um, so lately, like I've been following him quite a bit, and that's definitely had some, in, you know, some influence on things that I want to personally do. Um, yeah, I'd say that him, he's he's a big he's a big one right now. I guess it's like modern graffiti culture, you know. That's that's really what it it, it all goes back to graffiti for me. Um, just the the risk and the color and you know the the techniques that you have to have, and people think it's just you know oh, just throwing paint on a wall with a spray can. It's just so much more so much more than that um and the, the culture behind it is really something that i've just always been a big part of yeah so like one one particular uh type of your art that you've worked on is the that's really taken off is the uh the va logo just kind of mm -hmm. tell us about that and like where where to, uh, how you got started with that and i think you you said you submitted it for uh for an art show right yeah so uh Two years ago, when Pharrell Williams came to Virginia Beach, which is where I'm from, um, you know, he, he, he did the Something in the Water Festival. And we were able to get on board with that. And we were one of the vendors. And um, I wanted to do something that would really draw in people because, you know, Something in the Water is a music festival. It's an art festival. Um, but it's it's got a real deep hip hop feel to it. You know, most of the acts were either R&B or hip hop. Um, and so I really wanted to create something that was going to belong there. And that's where it came from. You know, uh, the, it's, again, it's just, if people are familiar with, you know, it's just a hand sign. So it's, you know, it's like this VA and it just, that's where it came from. And it just shot right off, man. Um, people, people couldn't get enough of it. Uh, it's actually what we become most associated with <laughs> more than the paintings itself is, you know, that symbol. Um, cause we're, you know, again, where I'm from, you know, Hampton road, seven, five, seven, people are really proud to be from there. You know, it's, it's a, it's a place where a lot of talented individuals come from. I mean, we've got sports, music, entertainment, um, you know, so it was cool. It was really neat that, that it took off the way it did. I didn't, ex I didn't expect it to. Uh, and yeah. so now since then we've, we've done a lot of work with that and just going from there. So we actually, uh, we have a little example. Uh, this is one of the versions. It's the one that you have set as your profile photo for the VA logo. So let's go ahead and show that up on the screen there. So that way they can see which, uh, what we're referring to. So um, this is the, uh, the logo that 
that Jared had designed um, uh, for for the for that festival. And uh, yep. yeah, it, it, you have actually done all sorts of different uh, versions of that, right? I have. Uh, yeah, that one you just showed is our 3D holographic version. Um, literally just launched as a magnet. So, uh, you know, you can go onto the acrylics pages and follow the links to our big cartel page and it's for sale on there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one of the newer versions of it. Uh, we've done watercolor, we've done the traditional black and white, we've done, um, oh, geez, I, uh, so many different versions of it, but the, the 3d one is probably one of the more popular ones. Yeah. So you've, uh, you've actually had, um, the opportunity to meet and to work with, uh, Christians and in, in the various, uh, things that you've done working with art and working with mixed media, um, please tell the viewers about like how your experience has been working with them and the impact that they've made on you. It's been an incredible impact on me. You know, um, I love that I'm able to use something that means so much to me and, and with art, you know, to use it as a, as a vessel to talk to other people about God. And, and it's, it's just, it's cool because, you know, people that maybe not aren't even that interested in art or even my style of art, you know, they're just, that's not their cup of tea, but we're both believers in Christ. And so from there, we can have just an amazing conversation. And, and you know, the encounters that you'll have are incredible. Um, one of the things that I love the most about my current work, you know, with the acrylic pores is it's going to be very prophetic. Um, and so I've had people come up to me and just been like, you know, your, your work really speaks to me on a deep spiritual level. And I can see God talking to me through it. And, um, it's always amazing to hear that from people because everyone, everyone looks at it differently, but everyone, but God is the same. And so I just, I love that. I think that's really cool. And uh, I, I feel blessed that I have the opportunity to continue to have those kinds of impacts on people. And, and they don't, and none of them really realize how much of an impact they're having on me all the time. Sometimes it's obvious, you know, we have these crazy cool conversations about it, but other times it's more subtle and, and I'm just kind of in awe that people see that in my work and that, you know, cause God's really important to me and, and it's my faith is, is what's really helped me get through so much. And I use that, you know, in my work. Um, and that, yeah, it's just amazing. It's so cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of the greatest things about art, you know, in relation, also in relations, you know, to movies, to TV shows, um, Art is definitely one thing that can bring so many different people together uh, from all walks of life. And that actually can be a wonderful way to actually reach people through Christ. You know, you can, mm -hmm. you can use, use that, that media, you can use that talent. And honestly, I think I find that that's actually the best way to, to try to reach people through Christ is like, not all of us were actually meant to be, uh, you know, pastors or evangelists, but you know, we're, we're still supposed to share, you know, our, our beliefs with others. And I, I of course, uh, try not to push it on it. Like if, if I feel like that person may be open to discussing faith, like I'll, I'll certainly, uh, try to bring that into context. So like if it ends up, it definitely looks like it may be a spiritual conversation. I, I really try to share my faith with others. And, and mm -hmm. also, you know, it's, it's also a good example, you know, to share with people. They're wondering like, you know, why are you so positive? You know, or why, why do you have such a positive outlook on life? And, you know, your faith <laughs> plays a huge role in that. It does. Um, it, it definitely does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and honestly, I really would not be where I am today without having Jesus Christ in my life. Absolutely. No, hundred percent agree with you. Um, it's the one constant in my life. That's always been the one constant in my life, just through all of the ups and downs and all the trials and, you know, hardships. It was just my faith. My faith is what got me through it more than anything else. It was always my faith. Even when it felt like a fit, you know, having, a, having faith is, is useless. It's just, it's not, So with the uh, with your art, have you thought of uh, maybe kind of branching out into that, and maybe kind of go into other mediums um, with you know w with your talents? Because I think like especially areas like uh, you know television and film, um, 
works so almost hand in hand with with art and i think that that would actually be a unique field for you to kind of maybe branch out into i mean obviously not as like your main <laughs> focus but could be a, like another way to kind of share your art yeah i you know uh you know for anyone that doesn't really know i mean like i've always wanted to get more involved in that i was on the board of directors for a local theater production company here in virginia beach for a while or you know i'm in tc but back in back home in virginia beach um and so I've had the opportunity to produce plays and I've been involved in the day-to-day -day production and, you know, casting and you just, you never know, man, you never know what you're going to have an opportunity to do. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, and art got me there, you know, cause I did the mural for them and then they were, they liked what I had and, you know, you get to talking to people and they realize that you're, you're not just like this one faceted person, like, Oh, you do art, but you, you know, you like theater too. Like, yeah. Yeah, I do. You know, so it's really neat. It's really cool how God works and introduces you to people that you don't necessarily realize are going to change your life and are going to introduce you to things that you never thought possible. Um, my wife is an actress. You know, she she was a model and actress for a long time. And so that's still something that her and I both are, are always interested in, in doing. And um, I think my art is probably going to always be, you know, front and center just with the way I paint and that's just who I am. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if the opportunity arose and uh, sure I've done, uh, I've done, you know, I've painted backgrounds for plays and, you know, I've helped in other ways that I can use my, my talent. Um, yeah, you never, you never know, dude. Uh, or, or, or you can even actually help to, to maybe work with the art directors on films, you know, and actually, mm -hmm. uh, kind of bring some more of an artistic flair to, the background that they're trying to have for their specific scene, or it might be just something like where it's a painting that they have in the background. Cause, uh, you know, even especially film is actually a wonderful, um, opportunity for product placement. So it's true. No, you're absolutely right. I would love that. That would be really cool. I have no idea where we're even begin to do that, but, um, yeah, that would be amazing. Um, I had thought about other ways to get my art out there just as a way to be in the background, like you say, as you know, day to day livings. Um, you know, there's always people like where again where I'm from. You know, it's 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 a it's a heavy military town, so you know people are always moving in and out, and there's always realtors looking for houses to show. And so I've had a couple connections with some friends of mine that do that, and I'm gonna hopefully start having my art in these houses that are for sale, as kind of like just part of the staging. Um, and you know, now I mean every realtor has a videographer that usually does some kind of work with them as they're showing homes off. So who knows? Yeah. Sky's the limit. Yeah, that's that that is true. So um so about your your company, um, Acrylics, um, tell us about that. Like how how's that been for you? You know, um what kind of like what role your faith plays in that, um, how how it's been for you kind of like to reach out to the community and share your art with them. Yeah, uh, Acrylics was founded uh at the buck end of twenty seventeen, beginning of twenty eighteen. Um it just kind of came out of nowhere, man. Uh, I was working at a job that I didn't really like. And um, I just kept thinking, like, how can I how can I do something that's going to be able to bring me some more fulfillment and, and still do the things that I really love? Um, and so it's not quite there yet. You know, Acrylics is definitely uh, my passion project. And it's it's not what I live off of yet. But that goal is to eventually get to a place where we're using acrylics as a means to, you know, teach and minister and offer people the opportunity to come and learn something that they they've never done before. Um, acrylics long term, I want it to be a part of someone's healing experience. You know, um, the type of art that I do is is great for therapeutic measures. Um, and so actually one of the things that I'm planning on doing is actually getting my degree as an art therapist so that I can do clinical mental health counseling with people and use art as a way to minister to them and to help them heal. Um, and acrylics, that is what acrylics will be. That, that is the goal for acrylics. Acrylics is not just an art house. You know, it's, it's a place where people can come and, you know, feel free to heal and to work through their issues. And we do that through art. Um, and I mean, that there is no better or greater ministry, in my opinion, than to be able to do those two things combined into one effort. 
So you said that uh, you actually had the opportunity to teach kids art um, in Scotland, but um, have you had the, the same kind of opportunity to teach others to kind of express themselves through art? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I've had plenty of people ask about, you know, how do you do your work? How do you do this? It's so cool um, at all the shows that I've been to. So I actually created with my wife, uh, it was actually her idea, um, to do what we call a paint crate. And a paint crate essentially is uh, you get an 8x10 canvas, three colors, and instructions through our YouTube channel to create your own acrylic pour. And so we've sold, I don't know how many of those things. I mean, every show we go to, we sell out. Um, and that's really fun because, you know, it's a way for people to take our work home and make it their own. And again, you know, it's therapeutic, man. It really, it really is. Um, you get lost in the paint and, you know, there's, there's a lot of movement with this style of work. Um, it's not sitting there going up and down with your brush, you know, you're, it's fast and it's, in, it's engaging in its own right. So you don't really have to worry about learning how to do it. You just do it. And you're always surprised at the outcome. And usually it's, it's a really positive response. So um, we've been doing that. And um, prior to, you know, the coronavirus pandemic, we had some plans to start doing some shows. And, um, you know, we, would, we wanted to use these paint crates as an opportunity to work with people at birthday parties and bridal showers and paint nights, and things like that. And that's still something we want to do. We just have to do it in a safe capacity now. And, so we're figuring that out. We're trying to we're trying to see how we can still do that. And um, but that's you know ultimately that will lead to an opportunity for us to do more ministry, helping people, you know, teaching them how to art, you know, how to paint. Um, it's just it's so much fun. I mean, and that's you know as long as we're having fun, and we'll keep doing it. Yeah, that's uh, it. it it's wonderful to definitely to be able to you know, to, to take something that, you know, you really have a talent with and, um, you know, just kind of do the best that you can. Cause actually that's what the Bible does teach us is that whatever, um, whatever our hands find to do, um, you know, whatever God blessed us with to do it with all of our might and, yeah. you know, with no matter what talents that we have, you know, it could, you could be a, um, a creative person like Jared or myself, or you might not be, you might be in business or you might be, you know, work, um, working with animals or you might be working in, a, you know, like a, as a lawyer or, you know, regardless of, of what you do, what, what, what talent that you're blessed with, just uh, do it to the best of your ability. And you can really reach people through Christ through that. You know, uh, it's, it, it's really surprising that you can, really be able to meet more people through that medium. Cause like, especially mm -hmm. as a videographer, you know, uh, there's, there's been some, uh, so many, uh, there's opportunities that I wouldn't have been able to have otherwise, you know, I've actually been, had the opportunity to work on a few Christian films and it's just wonderful to work in that medium. But like, you don't necessarily have to be a creative person, you it's know, true. to reach people through Christ. You know, it could just be whatever you're into. It could be something that you do professionally or it could just be do something that you have as a hobby you know whether it be painting or you do puzzles or you know you can collecting something you can you know you can really kind of relate to people through that and mm -hmm. you get that opportunity when you have the opportunity to share your faith that's the best way to do it because you you have that common ground and then you can relate on that yeah i definitely think that being creative is is created the best uh vessel for me you know it, it definitely creates that bridge where people maybe you would never interact with pre prior now you have a front row seat to who they are you know and um it's amazing what people are willing to share you know it's 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 it's, it's really there's really no other way to describe it you know um all the times that i've been you know at shows or at festivals and you know I'm, I'm just talking to people about the art and they're drawn to it and before you know it they're sharing their life story with you and sometimes that includes their pain and you know and some of the the hopes that they still have and it's it's right there perfect opportunity right there you, you just god brings people into your life for just a moment and even if it was just you being a friendly face 
and you know showing some love to somebody and having a shared appreciation for something beautiful you have no idea how deep that might have affected that person you have no idea what that did for them otherwise and i think that god's in the little moments i think that people overlook that sometimes and you know there are these these little small short moments that god really just reveals himself to people and it's usually through encounters and um people don't always see that and i i look for those and that's always been one of the things that i love the most about being an artist and, and having an opportunity and a talent to use it um it's it's incredible yeah so um jared is it okay if we uh show some examples of the art that you've done in the past yeah so let me go ahead and uh let's see we actually have the visit norfolk mural that you did so let me mm -hmm. go ahead and show that real quick there we are. Yeah, so that's a visit Norfolk mural. So it's, uh, tell us about that. So that was one of the first uh, commissions that I got right after we started acrylics. Um, it was just pure happenstance. I was working as a bartender part time with a friend of mine from church. She owns she owns her own catering company, and she got a, a job at Waterside Norfolk for this like three thousand plus person party for this you know, this big company and Norfolk was sponsoring the event because it was tied to their tourism and they were looking for an artist to do some kind of a live art show, you know, art piece or whatever, uh, as kind of, as part of the entertainment, but also something they would use to help promote Norfolk when they travel around the country, promoting the city and looking for business. And so I painted that live, um, in front of, at the, I think there were about 500 people at the time because it was earlier on in the day, because I had to start pretty early, so it would finish by the time the event concluded. Um, and it was so fun. It was just cool being out there and, and right in the middle of this water, water side, right there on the water. Um, and I just, you know, just worked on it throughout most of the day, took little breaks, would talk to people, you know, answer questions, take pictures. And uh, Norfolk used that for that, that coming year, and they took it everywhere. Uh, when the Visit Norfolk people were traveling to other other cities to promote business that's they wanted to take it with them so they took it and it was really it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun yeah that's that's great you know it's that having that opportunity to do something for the community and really kind of reach out to people and then you know while you're doing it they're they're saying like wow you know this is wonderful it's uh wonderful art and it, it's it's a conversation starter and honestly that's the great thing about so many different forms of media is that they are a conversation starter and you can really kind of get more you know in in depth with it and um because with with art is really an expression of the emotion on how the artist feels or how something that they came across you know what the what the emotion was of that and that your, your emotion and then your faith and like your philosophy can actually come through that art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was it was an amazing opportunity. Um, the people that visit Norfolk, you know, they I've I've done a lot of stuff with them since then. You know, they they help sponsor um, a lot of the shows that they have at Town Point Park, and all all of it's geared towards tourism to you know bring people to Norfolk and and you know have them you know just visit the city you know or bring their business to the city. Uh, so it was a really cool partnership and I really, I really enjoyed doing it. And it was the first time that I'd had something that big, um, professionally, you know, it really was kind of the beginning of my professional career. Um, so, cause prior to that, you know, I was just, you know, doing art cause I liked it. It wasn't that anyone was really paying me for it. Um, but it was a paid gig and it, it turned into something really awesome. Yeah. So, uh, let's, uh, kinda do a little screen share here and, um, we can go on on uh, the acrylics Facebook page. This is the different uh, photos that that you have uh, displayed there. Yeah. So there this is the uh, what we're looking at here is the uh, Facebook page for acrylics, and that's O and then acrylics after that. So as, as you can see, it's uh, definitely uh, originates from uh, Jared's last name, O'Flaherty, and uh, and the acrylic. So, yep. <laughs> so uh, and this uh, this was. This was the one that you actually, uh, so you said this is the, the most recent version of the VA logo, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the more recent ones. Um, but you know, we have sticker packs that we have right there that you can see that have, have been created. We have just a variety of 
of different, you know, dirty pores that, you know, acrylic pores. Um, we have one that actually looks like a honeycomb. That's uh, we did that in partnership with um, some nonprofits in the local area to try and help uh, raise money to save the bees. And so we took a you know peace sign, which is you know, you know just in, indicative of being peaceful with VB, you know VB Virginia Beach. Um, so it's kind of a fun play on words. Um, and that was one of that was a really popular sticker that we did. Uh, and we we donated portions of all the money we made to local nonprofits in the area to help you know beekeepers and bring awareness to saving the bees because they're really important. So it's just another way to try and get back to the community. And I saw that like recently you actually started doing um uh with with your son you actually started doing yep. some uh skateboard art. And yep. was real, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. That. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We got about 50 boards. Uh we're hoping to have them ready for Christmas so people can use them if they want to for art pieces or they can, you know, actually use them for state skate decks. I actually want to take some of them and turn them into a Christmas tree too, which I'm hoping them would be pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like this one you actually put on. Ah. Yep. So that was a piece that was on display at one of the local art uh galleries in Virginia Beach. Uh again, one of those one of those pieces that, you know, just kind of in the moment you think about and Yeah. So we, we try to we try to catalog a lot of our work. Um and you've actually, it uh, looks like for the wave design, I think you've done um, several different versions. This yeah. Week. Yeah. Uh, you know, being from Virginia beach, uh, did a lot of surfing when I was younger and, you know, being, being so close to the ocean, it's a big part of who I am and it has a major influence. And so that was just last summer, just playing around with different abstract ways to, to do waves. We actually have another wave. Um, it's at the very top of the page. It's called the great wave. And, that is actually the the piece of art that I sold that took us to Scotland. It, we were we actually were short. Yeah, right there. It's the, the uh, timeline photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. The Great Wave. Um, I sold that piece for three thousand oh, dollars at wow. a yeah. That was the most expensive piece of art that I'd ever sold, and we were literally three grand short for our trip. And we weren't going to be able to go unless we raised three thousand dollars. And God came in and he he made a way. Yeah, that that is definitely a, a <laughs> an answer to prayer right there. You know, mm -hmm. just saying like, you know, and it's just wonderful how it's exactly the amount of money that you needed to was. complete your trip. It was right right to the right to the last red cent, man. Um, it was it was it was a surreal experience for me personally. You actually can scroll all the way up, and it's the backdrop behind. And it's kind of a better picture of it. Um, it's actually a, it's my own interpretation of the painting of the Great Wave, uh, you know, the, the fabled Japanese print. Um, and so again, it was one of those paintings that I was I didn't expect it to become what it became. Uh, I was playing with paint one night. I was bored, <laughs> just in my studio playing around, and I had this enormous canvas that that painting is four by five feet it's enormous and uh i didn't have the wave on there at first and it was just kind of it just but i was looking at it, I was like oh you know you start to see it and uh and so through you know another you know, three or four hours messing around with it it became the wave because once i saw that it was a wave, i was like oh this is going to be this is going to be my first wave and it evolved into that and uh, and then I started thinking about the great wave and I'm like, how can I make this look like my own, but still be, you know, representative of people look at that and like, Oh, I know what that is. Right. Um, so yeah, I was, I was very happy and very sad that the guy bought it because um, obviously it sent me and my wife on our first mission trip together as a couple on our wedding anniversary to a country we'd never been to. It was a, you know, it was a big deal, but it was also by far and away my most my most loved painting. I, I really didn't want to sell it. <laughs> um, I was like, eh, I'll put it, I'll, I'll make it, you know, three grand and no one's going to pay three grand for this. And yeah, someone, someone thought otherwise. Well, you, uh, you were sure you to, to get, uh, pictures of it before, before you, you sold it. Yeah. So. yeah. And it, that painting is actually unique because it glows in the dark. So you can um, still do I, prints. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could. I could. I promised him that I wouldn't. Um, it was one of those rare pieces where I wasn't going to make prints of it. That's actually one of the things that uh, acrylics is part of our company. Uh, we don't do reprints of pieces of art that we've sold. That right. way, the, the person that owns it, you're the only person that has it. It's a one of a kind piece of art. Nobody will ever have a, a copy of it. Um, so I have not made prints of the Great Wave um, because of that. It's a it's important to me that people feel special with the work that they they choose to purchase from me, and I, I take that to heart. And it means a lot to me that they're supporting me. Um, but I wish. <laughs> So yeah, I got pictures of it. So yeah, I look at pictures of it all the time and I'm just like, oh, well, man. what's uh, what makes it different? You know, it's like, it makes it unique. And like each time you do a new painting, you do a new artwork, it's, it's different than what the one that you did before. So it's, it's, it's never the same of what, uh, what you're seeing. So, you know, that's, uh, I mean, I know there's a lot of artists that do, um, of course, reprints of their art, but you know, there, there's something that's so unique to actually just doing, just it's that one of a kind yep. there's no other like it and your uh customer that buys it from you you know they have the satisfaction of that that nobody else is going to have this piece of artwork right there are some paintings that we're, we're going to probably end up doing reprints of um i have a few that um i fell in love with when i made them and i was just like i'm just not going to sell these pieces they're just they're going to be in our home forever and so like those will be We'll make prints of those ones, um, but yeah, I mean, exactly. Your you, your point is correct. I just I'm an art collector myself. I actually need to buy a house bigger than what I have because I've ran out of wall space for all the art that I personally buy. <laughs> um, so, you know, I just it just it's special. You know, I, I want people to feel special when they purchase an acrylics painting. I want them to to have pride in that piece and that's it's it's special to them and because of that it's special to me and you know um like i said you know these these paintings are are unique a lot of them come with poems that i write to go along with them so i try to make them as unique as possible for the people that buy them yeah and um honestly art is just so important in our society you know we can really relate to each other on it it's it's really a, a wonderful expression of our internal emotions or what something we may be going through or something that we've seen in life. It could have been an experience that we've had and uh, we can all relate to that. And I think it's so important to keep that in our society because there's out because now, especially with uh, the coronavirus pandemic going on, there's actually uh, I've seen that there's going to be some schools that are going to be kind of cutting back on like certain forms of art, like mm -hmm. uh, like a lot of schools, um, they might have to cut back on like with the art classes or with the obviously they're not going to be able to do theater in person, right? you know, because of the social distancing and everything. Um, and especially um, musicians marching bands, you know, cause like there's a, a lot of schools are canceling the football program where there's yeah. no football, there's no marching band. Right. And uh, like, I, I actually, um, you know, I know some students like matter of fact, my niece is, is, uh, she's in marching band. And unfortunately it's just, it's kind of up in the air what they're still going to be able to do. So I think that's it's so important to keep art, whether it be, um, you know, your traditional forms of art, you know, with painting, with drawing, you know, with, with graffiti, with, um, but there's all, all, there's also all so, sorts of different art. You know, you have photography, you have theater, you have film, you know, so you have music. And it's so important to make that a priority in our schools. You know, I agree. We, it should never be considered as like, oh yeah, that's, that's just an extracurricular activity. And like, right. it's not, it's actually no. just as important as, um, you know, at, as education as any other form of education. I agree. Me and my wife actually, um, I think this was maybe two or three years ago, we advocated for the arts. We go, we went up to DC, came up here and we went, we went right over to Congress and we advocated for the arts with our, with our Congress representatives and with our state senators, Mark Warner. Um, we were in his office advocating for the arts, you know, uh, arts are usually the first thing to get cut from budgets and, it's a proven fact that kids are not all the same, you know, not all kids learn the same. And art is a, is a valuable 
resource that you can use to, to help children learn and to have confidence in themselves and and to discover who they are as individuals and all of that is part of the learning process you know it, it just is and so we're a big advocate I myself I will always be a, a major advocate for the arts uh, whether that was painting or acting or singing or music it, all of it's the same to me all of it's important it should it should be uh, cherished in our in our systems and uh, unfortunately it's not always and so my, my wife and I we make a big deal about it and we we're, we're a part of the advocacy for the arts commissions and um, you know I've done a lot of work with the uh, human rights commissions and the art council here in, in Virginia um, you know like I said doing a lot of work with the local theater companies any way any way that we can get involved and, and help people you know use art as a way to express themselves and to find purpose within their life and fulfillment. And, you know, that's God's work. You know, that's, that's to me, that's my servant's heart, trying to get back to the people that have supported me and helped acrylics grow. And it's invaluable. It, it needs to happen. Amen. So, um, Jared, what would you say to encourage other believers in art and in media? <laughs> um, I just have faith, man. You know, just don't lose your faith. You know, do it for the right reasons. Don't don't expect overnight success. Don't expect fame and fortune. Um, if your heart's not in the right place, you know, uh, so a lot of people get into you know these kinds of things because they think it's going to make them famous or they're going to make a big splash, and you know, it's all about Instagram and you know Facebook likes and viewers on YouTube and. Um, it takes away from the, you know, the basic principles of why we're here. And, you know, uh, I personally just use art as a way to love on people because I think Christ is love. And um, so I, if I'm if anyone's listening and anyone's you know having a hard time with it, just have faith. You know, just 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 don't lose hope. Don't don't do it for the wrong reasons. Remember why you why it brought, you know, uh, joy to your life in the first place. And if you can find that and get back to that, you'll be all right. Amen. Yeah. Just continue to do, um, you know, whatever thing that you find that you're, you're good at and just keep doing it. Don't yeah. give up, you know, even, even if you're, you're having some troubles doing it I'm like, Hey, <laughs> uh, like, well, welcome to the world. You know, that's just uh, how, how it is <laughs> with reality is like, no matter mm -hmm. what, uh, what we do, we're always going to have, uh, some difficulties and some trials and we go through it. And honestly, that's, those are the best life lessons to learn from. Yeah, you know, they are. Just, keep at it no matter what, and just keep, you know, believing that God is on your side. You know, as long as you uh, try to do your, do your best in life, do your best at, at what you're good at and just keep the faith. I mean, there, there's nothing that is impossible. It's true. It's so true. Yeah. I, I mean, I've gone weeks without painting or doing anything creative. Um, you know, and it just it happens, you know, it just it happens, you know, life gets in the way sometimes, sometimes you just got to do, you know, got to do your big boy job, big girl job. Um, uh, for my, my life is in general, is just have faith, you know, just don't lose it. Realize that there will be better days that, you know, God is with you all the time. Um, it doesn't matter what you're experiencing, you know, good or bad. It's God will get you through it. That just that's just it's so simple <laughs> it's not you know for me it's not some long diatribe it's just have faith have faith don't don't lose hope just focus on god keep your eyes on god amen yeah mm -hmm. so jared what's what's next for you oh i don't know <laughs> um i had a whole line of shows planned for this year and they all got canceled so i'm just gonna go back and keep painting and um you know, try and reinvent the wheel, I guess. Uh, I have a couple things that I'm working on and, uh, you know, I'm hoping to do some partnerships with some local artists back home soon. And that's, that's, that's going to be exciting stuff. But, um, right now just keep painting. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully in the new year, we'll be allowed to do some shows. Um, trying to work out some, some content for, for our online presence more. So that's, that's probably the big one. You know, we're going to launch our YouTube channel soon. Um, we're going to do more content creating on Instagram specifically so people who like our work can see it more often and see how it gets created. So that's that's the next step, I think, for real for us is just creating more video content. 
and you're uh, you're currently on uh, you said Instagram, but you're also on Facebook. Facebook, um, Instagram, yep. And uh, the handle is uh, is Ocrylics, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. Ocrylics. So if you want to follow uh, Jared's artwork, um, he is available on Facebook and also on Instagram. Uh, you can follow online um, at Ocrylix. That's O and then C R Y L I C S. Um, so just uh, feel free to look on his page. He has a lot of wonderful artwork, um, and I know there. Of course, there's the link to the website if there's anyone who um, you know is interested in commissioning Jared. But um, if you want to see some examples of his art, just uh, uh, go to his Facebook or his Instagram page um, at Ocrylix. And um, just uh, Jared, thank you so much for for joining us. Um, <laughs> thank you for everyone for for listening in. Um, if you would like to learn more information about Jared, uh, we will actually have. It's not currently up there yet, but we will current. Uh, we will have a page available on our website. Um, it's going to be at uh, at faithmediashow.com. dot uh, So you go to Faith Media Show, and then you click on guests. Um, and then you'll see Jared's uh, profile photo, uh, and um, it'll it'll say painter, graphic artist, and uh, we'll actually provide a link to where you can just click on his photo, and it'll go to his page. And the page will actually be faithmediashow.com uh, uh, forward slash Jared O. And that's uh, where we'll actually be able to provide more information for Jared, and uh, you can learn more information about him. And... Um, Thank you again, Jared, for for joining us. And uh, for those who are watching, um, uh, thank you so much for for joining us. And if you would like to continue uh, watching uh, any content with us um, that we produce in the future, uh, please feel free to follow us online at Faith Media Show. We are available on all of the social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you would like to become, uh, if you would like to come on to our show, uh, as a guest, uh, please feel free to uh, send us an email through our contact page, uh, faithmediashow.com. Send us an email if you uh, are interested in be- uh, coming on as a guest. Uh, and we thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, God bless you, and we hope you have a wonderful day.